Lego, what the hell are you doing? Why are you making a video about this? I thought you weren't going to watch the game. And yeah, I, uh, I didn't. I took some time to go to the drop-in community center volleyball tonight, and that was really fun. I can barely raise my arms and squeeze my fingers together. I can barely type because yesterday was also pole day at the gym. You know, I told y'all in today's video earlier that I have peak gym motivation because of all the events that have happened in my life heading up into today. But I did read all of your comments from the last video. I didn't respond to all of them because that would have taken forever, but I just wanted to say thank you once more. I always appreciate it when I'm able to open up about my life and talk about things that are important to me or affecting me personally and have an audience that's willing to listen, sit down, and acknowledge how it is that I'm feeling about things, so I definitely do not take that for granted. Thank you to all of those who had left comments in today's earlier video. But because I am kind of in a fresher state of mind, I came back home, noticed the Canucks beat the Dallas Stars 5-2, and I can't really do much with my hands and arms. I was like, you know what? Let's just watch the highlights. Let's take a look at some of the goals that were scored here and just, you know, give some general thoughts. I'm not going to go out there and analyze the game, break down every individual play. Let's just talk about the goals because that is what gives Vancouver the ultimate victory here. Canucks, as we had said, defeated the Dallas Stars 5-2. I did not watch a second of this game. And I'm just going to go off of everything that it says in the box score. So, when it comes to shots on goal, it appears that the Canucks were heavily outshot. Okay, 27 to 19. But if we go over to Money Puck and we take a look at the expected goals for the deserve to win o meter, etc., etc., how does that stack up? So, the Canucks had themselves a deserve to win o meter percentage of 50, no, 60%. Wow, okay, so the high danger chances were really, really in Vancouver's favor in this one. Despite the fact that the Dallas Stars had, what is that, nine, eight more shots than Vancouver? Pretty good, if I do say so myself. So, let's head over to the goals and talk about what it was Vancouver did to get up on the board, starting in the first minute. Oh boy, Phil DiGiuseppe from Miller and Besser. Interesting line, to say the least, but it looks like the Canucks have a little bit of a cycle here. Yeah, I'm watching the highlights in NHL.com. Who's going to stop me now, buddy? Besser drop pass to Miller right in front. Oh my goodness, what a play. Why is it that the Vancouver Canucks are able to make plays like that consistently at this point in the year? You couldn't have made plays like that all throughout the start of the season, Miller and Besser. Maybe y'all would have been traded by now if that was the case. Okay, I'm not going to go out there and sour grape about a Vancouver Canucks goal that was scored by Phil DiGiuseppe that actually looked pretty good, especially in the first minute and a half of the game, but man, the Canucks got off to a pretty good start with that one, eh? Second goal, six minutes into the first on the power play, Kuzmenko from Garland and Besser. That's a really interesting sort of unit there, I guess because Besser got moved and they put Bavillier on the first unit. Yeah, okay, it kind of makes sense, but... Canucks with 30 seconds to go on the man advantage, and Besser with the cross crease to Garland. Oh my goodness, the double cross crease play. Backdoor tap in for Andre Kuzmenko. What a great showcase of talent right there by the Vancouver Canucks to get up to nothing. And you know, it's nice to see the second power play unit get themselves a goal. It really is. It's kind of weird to me how Besser, Garland, and Kuzi were on at the same time. Maybe there was some change that I didn't notice because I didn't watch the game, but just based off of the highlight itself. Very nice passing. Besser gets two assists in the first period of the game alone, so good on Brock for boosting his trade value for the offseason, I guess you could say. Garland, of course, it's nice to see him getting on the board because he hasn't really had the best season. Wyatt Johnson then gets things going in the second period, 48 seconds into the frame. And what is it that happens here? Okay, so the Stars enter out on the side, and then a really nice cross crease to Johnson. Wow. Great play there by Jamie Benn and Heiskinen to set up the brand new NHL rookie. 2-1 is the score a few minutes into the second period, but then at the 11.52 mark, it's Bavillier from Willannon and Petey. Okay, there you go. I see you, Bavillier. I see you. So what happens here? Okay, Petey Half boards, back to the blue line, will land in a blast, and it was tipped in. Hey, there you go. You talk about Bo Horvat and all the tip-in goals that he's been able to score. 
Anthony Bavillier is right there, too, and he makes things 3-1 to one Vancouver at the halfway mark of the game. Very nice goal to see there. Bavillier has just been on fire with these tip-ins, man. It's insane. And then Jamie Benn in the last, what is that, the last five seconds of the period on the power play from Miro Heiskanen gives the Dallas Stars the goal to bring things within one. Oh, Petey had a breakaway. No, not a breakaway, just like a rush where he took a slap shot. Okay, gets stopped up there by the goaltender. But Jamie Benn, ah, oh, it's a long shot as he's coming into the zone. Okay. Okay, downtown Jamie Benn ends up beating, who is that? Thatcher Demko on the far side, it looked like. 3-2 at the end of the second period, and 3-2 at the start of the third. And I'll tell you this, I did see the one goal scored by Breezeball on my Twitter feed as I was coming home, or preparing to come home at least. Niels Oman, dude, what a crazy pass as he's coming in towards the goal, stopping everything up, and drawing all the attention to himself. Niels Oman more so like Leon Dreisaitl there as he sets up Guillaume Breezeball for the guy's first NHL goal. Took him long enough, he was drafted so long ago, and made his NHL debut so long ago too. It's kind of nuts to think that a guy can play for so many years up and down in the National Hockey League and the American Hockey League and only score his first goal now. I mean, good for Breezeball, but it took him long enough. Very nice setup, of course, from Niels Oman. And then you have yourselves the final goal of the game scored by JT Miller from Brock Besser, so that is his... What is that, third point of the night for Brock? Miller, of course, is getting on the board once more, too. What happens in this play? So the Canucks are able to clear their zone. That's Brock taking it down the wing. Brock stops up on the half wall, delays a little bit, out into the middle, and Miller, oh my goodness, receives the pass and then fires it into the goal. Very nice there for Vancouver to go up 5-2 to two in this one, which ultimately remains the final score. Thatcher Demko made 25 saves on 27 shots, and who was the goaltender for Dallas? Matt Murray. Yeah, no, not the Matt Murray in Toronto, the other Matt Murray, the one that we actually made a video about a few years ago when he got re-signed by the Dallas Stars or whatever it was, something like that. That's an AHL caliber guy that makes an NHL presence once in a while, not the Matt Murray from Pittsburgh in Toronto, but... The Vancouver Canucks have won themselves a game that I did not watch because I was out trying to clear my head and just work and focus on the moving parts of my body. Again, thank you to those in the prior Canucks video from this morning that were so kind enough to leave a comment and just give some thoughts to me and my situation and just give me the okay to say, all right, we gotta just ease things up a little bit, make things easier for the mind because... Ultimately, partners may be temporary, but what's in my own head will last me a lifetime. So I got to do my best to keep that up, and I did that with some volleyball today. Was not able to watch the Canucks game, but I decided to make a video about it anyway because the result was pretty good. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Either way, all your opinions about this Canucks and Dallas Stars game. I hope you enjoyed this Vidishraj Rolls 99. And bye.